Today we are back with a homeowner series on the Nebraska Lanes USA map. We have a lot of small projects to complete today. I got up a few hours ago, did a few chores, and came here to the computer. I've been playing FS19. Now it's time to get up off the computer and get going on today's projects. We have a very big surprise out back. We've had the crews here all week long. Roughly about a month ago, I talked about wanting a swimming pool, and it is officially complete after a week long of uh, starting it. Here it is, a 25 by 15 foot swimming pool. It goes from 3 feet over here to 12 feet deep. We do have a pool lights, filters, everything's ready to go. And this thing looks awesome. Now, I did get the option here for a nice patio paver all around it as well which looks great. Now we did have to relocate Diesel's dog house back here. This gives him a little bit more room to kind of run around. Let's give him a bite to eat and let's check up on the chickens. Now it has warmed up quite a bit today over 85 degrees so at the end of today uh, we'll go for a swim for the first time but wow this pool looks awesome. Probably one of the best pools I've seen in FS19. Let's check up here on the chickens. And so far they've been doing pretty good. Let's take this food bag and see if they need any. And they might, we'll just have to see. And it looks like the chickens are full, which is also a good thing. We definitely don't want them to run out. We'll check in here for any eggs. And uh, we do have some eggs, which we'll have to come pick up. But this is so far a very nice chicken coop. I really do like it a lot. And we might add horses to the series. We did own some at the previous property. And I think that would be kind of a nice add-on to add. Uh, and a lot of fun as well to ride them. A few days ago, I got a call from the Chevy dealership. They have a 2019 Chevy 1500 uh, for sale. Great discounts. And so I said, we'll come take a look. So let's take the uh, Corvette for a spin. And I actually want to do a little bit of rearranging in the garage. Many of you guys request me to put the new Shelby underneath here. That way we have both Shelbys. Uh, one on the lift and then one below. So I think that's a pretty cool idea. Let's get both cars warmed up here. And we'll head on out. Perfect. And it looks like I also turned on the uh, old Shelby there, which is not too bad. Uh, they definitely have to get uh, turned on there. But I am very excited to take the C8 out for the first time. I brought it by the local paint shop, and they did put a full uh, paint protection film on the front bumper and quarter panels. So we, I don't think we'll have any problems with uh, rock chips or anything like that. Perfect. So that is pretty cool. It's nice to see kind of both of them there. And we'll get that turned off there. Wow, that looks awesome. Wow. A pretty simple, easy thing that really just kind of adds a nice uh, look to the garage. Now, the production of the C8 is starting soon, which is cool. And it's nice to get it here in Farming Simulator. Now, I will be working on some new colors. Maybe that new uh, bright blue. And also, I definitely want to get yellow. Yellow is pretty popular with the Corvettes. Now the car has just over a thousand miles as well, so we are past the break-in period, and that's also a good thing when we want to kind of open up the car on some back roads. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. Let me know how it is down below, but it's been overall great. Now we have been looking at getting a new truck for quite a long time. I think we might sell either the uh, 2020 Silverado or the uh, Ram 3500. One of those uh, will go. We will not be adding yet another one, but we might get another sports car. I have one on order, and uh, we do have the option of not collecting it, but I think we will get it because I really, really like it a lot. But there it is, guys, a brand new uh, Silverado. That thing looks awesome. It's a 2019, so it, it has been on the lot for just over a year, they said. It's a 1500. Really do like those wheels. Wow, this truck looks awesome. And it does have a nice bed cover here on it. Z71 package, and it's the LTZ. Wow, this thing looks pretty cool. So let's hop here on the inside. They gave us the key. They said take it for a spin. And look at that, guys. The uh, windows are down there. That is interesting. That would be pretty cool. Look at that, guys. We have working windows on this. That is a neat, neat feature. Definitely something cool. 
And then the uh, hitch in the tailgate is adjustable as well, I believe. Oh yeah, that is awesome to put down the windows. Uh, definitely a cool mod. Would definitely increase the realism, but let's take it for a spin and see how we like it. Now we definitely have to level out this truck, it's sitting a little bit low, and I've noticed that all of the trucks from all of the manufacturers come around 2-3 to three inches higher in the back. If you do have any cool ideas here for the homeowner series, please let me know. I really do appreciate all of your recommendations. I really do like this Silverado here, it does have a great interior as well, and I think that we might just have to get this. Now a few modifications I would do, I would switch it to the Tomiers, level it, and only a few a little things like that, that, that aren't really too big, and uh, this might just be it, and maybe power uh, running boards, but this is one awesome truck. Let's stop by the gas station on the way back and uh, fill up the Corvette with gas. Now I always put 93 in all of my sport cars, usually they require, but if not, I always do that for the best power and the best uh, gas to be put in. That is so cool though, having mid-engine Corvette, uh, definitely a very unique design, and I think the gas is on this side. Let's get filled up. While that's filling up, let's head inside, grab a quick snack. Awesome, I got a bag of Doritos and a Pepsi, and let's head back to the house. So up next, we are actually going to be picking up a brand new grill uh, from the local store. I definitely want to get some more things for the backyard area, and we will also be placing an order for a bed cover. I want to get one for the Ford Raptor. Then the biggest thing we'll be doing today is going to be rearranging our barn, taking everything out, and re-putting everything back in. It's going to be a lot of work, a lot of time, but I think it's definitely necessary to give us a little bit more room. Now this interior is somewhat detailed, uh, but I definitely want to kind of work on that as well, and we do have some pretty good uh, window tint on the car. The window tint uh, helps as well for the uh, sun to not damage the interior, but there we go, we got both inside. Now I, I kind of like them side by side, but I also did like the Shelby's and the uh, GT3 side by side, but we do have another car coming like it did touch upon. Now I'm not sure where we will park it, maybe uh, if we move this lift over we could squeeze uh, something. If we move this lift all the way over, we should be able to put three cars wide here, which is definitely it won't be a pretty awesome thing, but let's get that closed, hop in the Raptor, and head on out. The homeowner series is very popular here on the channel, which is very exciting. I really do enjoy doing videos that are popular and many of you guys enjoy. This is a great hobby, great passion of mine, and I appreciate all the support. So we do actually have a built-in grill to our house, and I definitely want to kind of get uh, using that, but I want to buy something that's a little bit cheaper so we can kind of learn uh, how to grill and all that before we use our brand new expensive one, and I want to keep that as new as we can. Now with this Ford Raptor and uh, some of our other pickup trucks, I really want a bed cover. It just helps out, gives us more place to store stuff without having the weather uh, get uh, to that stuff. And actually, it's going to be at the, uh, we actually just passed the store. But we'll uh, pull in here first and let's order ourselves the bed cover. Alright, I just ordered the bed cover just over a thousand dollars. Came out to a thousand seventy dollars with tax. That is not too bad for the Raptor. Now I'm gonna hold off and let you guys decide do we put one on the RAM or the Silverado? And here we are there. So it's a pretty cheap grill. I paid just over $150 brand new, and I thought it's worth a try. And uh, we could always kind of use it as a backup. But when we do want to cook a ton of food, we'll also be using both at the same time. And let's see, can we get this a little bit better? I think we will just have to reposition it. Perfect, so there we go, we got the grill in the back. Now I will put the straps on it just to stop it from moving, which is great. 
Now I am looking for some new maps to play on as well. I'm always looking for them. They're, they're just a great part of Farming Simulator is the map and the vehicle. So if you do have any recommendations, let me know. Now this is a 2019 Ford Raptor. We have just over, uh, I would say, 6,800 miles on and not too many miles. And I really like it a lot. It's been a great truck to drive around. We'll put this inside and we'll just kind of carry that to the back. Now is rearranging that barn. It's going to be a ton of work, uh, but I think it's going to be needed to give us that extra space we need. We do have a lot of stuff back there, toys and everything, including uh, a few trailers parked inside. Now I would like a crew cab for a Raptor, even though the Super Cab looks great, and I actually sometimes prefer the Super Cab, I would uh, definitely like that as well. Let's see, and the garage door closed. So let's see if we could find another way to pick this up. Perfect, and we'll carry it out back. Now I have also ordered patio furniture as well, so those should be coming soon, and I cannot wait for this place to get looking really good patio, uh, some areas to lay down, uh, some big, big chairs, things like that, and we do have a grill over there, but let's head back here to the barn, and let's do some organizing, so a few things, guys, the Bronco I did put up for sale, hopefully it sells, it is complete, and I definitely want to enjoy it, but we don't want to damage it. Uh, we put a lot of money into it. Now this trailer will probably move, uh, probably make a little trailer port back here, or if we have enough room, we'll put it inside. Let's first move out the uh, go-kart. We'll put everything on this side, and then we'll rearrange it. So what we are doing is we're moving everything from over here to over here. That way we have a lot more room, and this toy hauler will be moved over there and as well. Switching the uh, two trailer positions and everything else, and that should give us the room we need. It would be nice to put the other trailers inside, but I'm not sure if we have enough room. We'll give it a try there, and let's put the uh, tailgate down. Now there is a brand new RAM that just came out with quite a lot of customizable features so maybe just maybe we might trade this out for that model by machine modding that's a pretty cool truck and we might just have to get it but we'll leave this attached and let's get everything moved over. Now we uh, will be leaving a few things over here now this player is will actually take out here in a bit definitely want to have some fun with this uh, as well but for now let's kind of get it parked up. We'll put the uh, players and the go-kart next to each other because those are what we'll be using a lot uh, for those tracks in the backyard. I do ask that if you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithms, letting me know as well that you really enjoy these videos. I wish there was another door that we could kind of go in and out of. Maybe uh, that would be something that we could add possibly because that would definitely help out. Now this gator here I do want to use a lot, lot more. We don't really use it too much and that's something I think that would be a lot of fun to use. We'll leave the uh, mower and that trailer over there. I think we'll be good to go and we'll actually put the Bronco. I'm not sure, can it fit right there? Let's give it a try. We'll bring it inside, but auction or uh, online sale is what I'm aiming for this. This should probably sell, I would say, sixty, seventy thousand dollars and that's pretty good. We put a lot of money into it as well. Oh yeah, this will fit perfect. We could still kind of use this. And let's put the toy hauler back. My goal here for this series is to make it a bit more realistic. Not every single week, uh, every single episode we have to buy something, maybe something small like a grill. And I think that's kind of the way to make it a little bit more realistic and uh, more interesting as well since we're not always getting something new. Oh yeah, this gives us a lot more room. I think because that post was in the way as well, 
that was a big problem there. Now this ram can actually kind of be uh, parked back here. Even we could probably fit those trailers inside. So I will have to do some organization there. But uh, today uh, is just about over. Let's jump in the pool. We got the swimsuit already on. And let's jump in. There we go. It is pretty cool. I think we'll stay right about here. That way we are on our tippy toes. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's pretty epic video. This big, big surprise. Now we can enjoy every single time the weather is good. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one. And subscribe for more. Okay.